Hey guys and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm showing you a holiday inspired glittery sparkly makeup look and this is actually going to be my official first holiday makeup look um, which I can't wait for you guys to see. So the first thing I'm going to do is priming the eyelids which I always do before applying mascara because you kind of want to get rid of the redness from your eyelid. This way we're going to start with like a clean base um, which are gonna make the eyeshadows look so much more prettier instead of starting with a kind of like a reddish eyelid. So definitely don't forget to skip this. Then now I'm gonna use this palette from Colourpop and I'm gonna start with the color Velvet. I will make sure to put the name in the description bar. Um, I actually received this palette in the mail this week. And the first thing I want to say is that I actually had quite a hard time with blending out this color. It just wasn't working the way it normally does. Um, I'm actually using the same primer, the same brush, so I know that's not the problem. Um, but yeah, I just kept blending until I was satisfied with how it was looking. But I just wanted to mention that for some reason this shade did not blend the way I think it used to be. So yeah, I wanted to be really clear with that, but I did make it work by just blending and blending, going in with different brushes, trying to make it look as smooth as possible. And when I blended all of that in the crease area, I went in with the color, which I think is called Mode, if I'm not mistaken. Um, it's a really beautiful brownish color with kind of like a reddish orange undertone. Super pretty. I love shades like this. This one definitely blended a lot more easier. So I'm kind of like pressing this in the outer V and making circular motions with my brush, trying to like create kind of like a round effect at the outer end. And I just continued blending until I was satisfied with how it was looking. But yeah, it was kind of starting with a rough start because the first shade didn't really blend the way I wanted it to be. But I think at this point, everything starts to look a lot better. So just continue to blend if you struggle with the same problem or you can just use a different eyeshadow on top of that. Maybe that will work as well. So now I'm gonna use this shimmery golden color and I'm just using my finger to apply this. Um, this one has actually a really nice color payoff as you can see such a beautiful color and with shimmery colors I always use my fingers. I think it's just easy and it does the job So just using my finger to kind of smear it all over the eyelids Now I'm gonna use my finger again using the champagne golden shade such a beautiful color um, that's actually the reason I wanted to use this palette because of this shade because it just screamed fall to me not f well actually not fall i mean holiday but it's also really pretty for fall season i mean you can wear it all year around but um when i saw this palette i was like okay i definitely have to use this for the holidays so that's what i'm doing right now i hope you guys like how it's looking so far so i'm just kind of like pressing and smearing on the glitters um i love using my finger because the eyeshadow kind of like sticks to the finger and i feel like using a brush it gets on my face earlier so yeah i think this is really handy and i will make sure to put a video in the description bar um because i actually made a video where i give some tips and tricks on the best way on how to apply glitter so i will make sure to link that in the description bar in case you need some tips and tricks on this um, i hope you guys are gonna try some glittery eye looks this year for the holidays um, definitely try to stick, step out of your comfort zone and let me know if you like it in the comments. I love glittery eye looks. I think I'm definitely going to do a lot more tutorials this year. Um, I actually want to upload as much as possible. I don't know. I'm just feeling this really creative mood right now that I want to upload so many videos. So I just can't wait. <laughs> I'm so excited. So now I'm going to use this eyeliner from Sigma Beauty, which is called the Wicked Joe Eyeliner. This used to be one of my favorites, but I just ran out of it and I never repurchased. But I received a package in the mail this week with this eyeliner. So I'm so happy that I can start using it again. I especially really like this one to use as a base for a smoky eye. Um, I do have a smoky eye video coming up next, which is going to be a classic smoky eye which is like the most easiest version like i'm i'm trying to keep it like really easy and with not that many steps in the video so 
this is a kind of like a beginner friendly smoky eye video which i cannot wait for you guys to see so that's my next video which i think will go up today is tuesday so i think thursday or friday but i think it's going up thursday so yeah i'm really excited for that one so keep an eye out if you're interested in seeing on how to create a black classic smoky eye but now i am I was kind of going off topic, but as you can see, I'm applying some eyeliner and now I'm going in with the Anastasia liquid eyeliner on top of it. Um, if you don't know, but I love layering eyeliner. I love using liquid liner on top of gel eyeliner. I just feel like it makes it so much more black and it makes the eyeliner stand out more. Now I'm gonna use this pencil from Rimmel London, which is my current favorite pencil for the waterline. Um, I actually used the Barry M Bold Waterproof Pencil in black very often, but I think I'm allergic to it. Every time I use it, my eyes kind of feel irritated on the inside, kind of like getting watery, so I stopped using it. So now I use the dark green color, which is the third shade at the bottom row. And I'm using this to blend this all the way underneath the lower lash line to make it like really smoky. I kind of pressed it underneath the lower lash line and then blended it out. And I'm going back in with the glitter color and pressing a little bit of that underneath the eyes as well. Only at the inner part, um, I just felt like something was missing. So I decided to add some sparkles. Then now I'm curling the lashes because it's time for mascara. And I'm using this mascara from Benefit, which is the Roller Lash Mascara. It's one of my favorites. If you don't know by now, um, I have used it so often. Now for my lashes, I'm gonna use my frizzy lashes from my own lash brand called Anytude. I have a special discount code for you guys. So if you wanna try out my lashes, I have it linked down in the description bar. Now, this is already the end of the video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you guys enjoyed. This is really helpful for my YouTube channel. Also, don't forget to subscribe if you aren't already. We're almost hitting 2 million subscribers. I cannot believe it. I want to thank you all so much. Um, I want to do a special video when it happens. I cannot wait. Um, but yeah, I want to say thank you so much for watching. And hopefully, I will see you all in the next one. Bye, guys.